Rabboni, my master. But Mary stood without at the tomb weeping. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself, and saith unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. John 20 verses 11 to 16. When the disciples had returned to their home, Mary stood at the door of the sepulchre, weeping. Then she took one more look at the place where he had lain. Thus still we look down into the grave of ordinances, of past emotions, of old and sacred memories, seeking for the Redeemer. The angel guards sought in vain to comfort her, but what could they do for her, who longed to hear his voice only? The sense of a presence behind, or perhaps, as St. Chrysostom finally suggests, because of an expression of love and awe that passed over the angel's faces, led her to turn herself, and she saw one standing there whom she supposed to be the gardener. Then he called her by the old familiar name, with the same intonation of voice, and she knew that it was her Lord. The knowledge that he was there, to whom she owed all, thrilled her, and she answered in the country tongue they both knew so well, Rabboni. Does not this suggest that in that new life, which lies beyond, we shall hear again the voices speak with which we have been familiar? As we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly, and shall have fellowship again with those whom we have lost a while. Rabboni is my master. We must take the risen Lord not only as our Savior, but our Master. Too many look to him only for what he shall do for them in the way of salvation and deliverance from sin, but we shall never realize the fullness of either until we fall at his feet and own him Master and Lord. It must be a personal act, my Master. It is not enough that he should be Lord of others, or of his church. He must be thine. Give your all for his all. Begin to live as if there were none but he and you in this world. He is ever appealing to us, son. Daughter. Give me thine heart, thy love. When he is master, we obey his bidding. It is useless to call him Lord, Lord, and not do the things which he says. Ours must be the alert ear, the swift foot. Go, tell. So he speaks still. Let us pray. Open our eyes to see the face of Christ looking down upon as amid household duty or daily business. Give us a quick ear for thy voice, and may we go on doing good, as thou shalt give us opportunity. Amen.